Hey, what's up everybody? So today I want to be in the holiday spirit. I'm very excited that Christmas time is here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And a blah, 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 and a marshmallows roasting in something here. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. Is it great, guys? I'm happy, as you can see. After I ate up the last bit of turkey on my plate from Thanksgiving, I was happy to welcome Christmas. The way that I welcomed Christmas was that I was finally gonna watch Jingle Jangle on Netflix. I refused to watch it before Thanksgiving was even here, which I thought everybody was crazy, that everybody was like, oh my God, Jingle Jangle, it's so great, you should watch it, Netflix, woo! And I was like, no, I'm not doing it because it is not Thanksgiving yet, but as soon as Thanksgiving was over, that night I was like, I'm watching Jingle Jangle because everybody said it was so good and it was amazing. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch Jingle Jangle. It was the cutest little movie. It just had a really good message. It had a very good message and very good singing. Had no idea that it was a musical and I love musicals. The singers were, they were killing it, like really good. Like Forrest Whitaker, he, he could sing. I did not know that. I was like, Forrest better sing. Sing, Forrest. But one thing that I loved about the movie was that it featured a black cast who had natural hair. It was really cool to see everybody wearing their natural hair in this movie. And so I wanted to show you the cool hairstyles from the movie Jingle Jangle. I want to possibly try to attempt one of them on my own hair. Say what? If you didn't know, the hairstyles from Jingle Jangle, they were taken from the Victorian period. And so they're actually inspired by hairstyles that were actually worn during the 1800s. So the first hairstyle that we're gonna be talking about is the awesome hairstyle that is on Forrest Whitaker. Like, guys, look at that. Like, <laughs> look at that. He's out here looking like Frederick Douglass and it actually was pretty dope. I think it's really cool that they decided to give him like this like disheveled look that it was kind of like, like I said, it was Frederick Douglass, but it had some, some like old doctor vibes going on, you know? And I think that it fit the role perfectly. Next hairstyle that, it was actually his wife's. The hairstyle was on Jeronicus Jangle's wife's hair. Like it was, it was cool. Like off to the, it was like off to the side on one end like that. <laughs> and then like the rest of this was like, it was like cupping, like it was, oh my gosh. Like I would wear that hairstyle for real. Probably one of my favorite hairstyles cause it just looked so cool and it looked like something that someone could wear to a wedding nowadays. There was the hairstyle that was on Anika Noni Rose. You know, the, you know, Princess and the Frog. You know, the girl from Dream Girls. Her, I think the character's name was Jessica, but she had like, you know, the hair going on up here, but then she had like the long behind like twist braid thing. Like that was cool. Like, I don't know. I'm like, who, who, who had that going on in, in the 1800s? I want to know like, who had hair that long. Oh yeah. I also loved the lady. I forget what her name is. I loved her. Another hairstyle that was in the movie that I loved was from Felicia Rashad's character. They had her in locks, like the salt and pepper lock. It was pulled up and all elegantly, but it was like, it was locks that was like salt and pepper. Like it was, it was, yes, yes. Of course, the main hairstyle that you're waiting for me to talk about 
is the hairstyle from the main character. Madeline Mills was just so awesome. Like she's just the cutest little girl. And by the way, that is her. That has gotta be all her hair. That's not a wig. That's not a wig. That's not a wig. Her hair is, I think, is it, is it, it's bigger than mine. I know that. It looked like it is anyway. And like, it's beautiful. It's just like, in these cute styles. I seen a hairstyle where she had a little space buns. She she just always doing cute stuff for her hair. In this movie, they have it in this like faux hawk thing. Like that's like a parted faux hawk, which is really cute. Yes, yeah, so let's try to attempt this. <laughs> let's let's try to attempt this hairstyle from Jingle Jangle. I think I could do it. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, I've worn a hairstyle like this before in the past. I'm gonna try it. It's like, it looked like it was like four, I believe four or five little space bun thingies that's going all the way down. And so it, you have to part it. And so um, let's go get a comb. So I use five hair scrunchies, cause that's all I had. And I also use a comb and a brush and an alligator clip and some styling gel. And so I started off spraying my hair full of water. And then I brushed all around the perimeter of my hair because my hair was nappy. And then I took my comb and I parted my hair, struggled a little bit, but then I finally got it together. So now I alligator clip the front of my hair and pull the rest back. So then I grab some styling gel to try to tame those flyaways in the front and make things neat. So then I can make my first little honey bun thing. All right, so that is what the front looks like. It needs help, but I'm going on to the second section and gonna try to make this one a little neater. And so I'm getting my brush, did the gel already, and we'll try to make this a whole lot better than the first one. And as you can see, um, yeah, it's not looking any better at all, but I was determined, very, very, very determined. <gasps> okay, getting close. <laughs> So on to the third section and I am trying something new and I am twisting it and it uh, kind of was working but it really really wasn't because now that one looks a whole lot different than the other two. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm trying really hard to make it look better in the front and it's starting to look worse and worse as I continue on. So fourth section, I'm grabbing the alligator clip and I am trying to make sure that I have the other section out of my way and I try the same method again that I did on the third one, but now it ends up becoming like, uh, some knot, it, it, it's it's basically a Bantu knot. So um, that does not look like any of the other ones. And the last one, same thing. And yeah, I think it's an epic fail. Oh, but don't tell me that because look at me modeling this. I thought this looked so good at the time. <laughs> okay, so I know this is not perfect at all. I need some help. And of course, if I was really doing this, then I'll be using not scrunchies, <laughs> definitely not scrunchies, and I'll be using bobby pins. Now these parts look surprisingly straighter than I thought that they would. Um, I didn't use mirror at all, so yeah, this is a surprise. But yeah, this is just something to do for fun. And I just really thoroughly enjoyed the movie. If you have not seen the movie, go right ahead and Pop that bad boy on. I hope that everybody's Thanksgiving was great and I look forward to all the Christmassy stuff that is gonna be coming this year because we really, really need some joy. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. But yeah, that is it guys, that's it. So I hope that you guys have a good day and thank you so much for watching. All right, see you next time. Bye.